Chances are, as a marketer on Facebook, you get to encounter this error every now and then where you head to the URL business.facebook.com forward slash create. And after filling in your details, only to see this error that says unable to create account. I would walk you through a quick hack I personally use to navigate this problem in less than five minutes. So let's get started. First and foremost, you'd want to clear your browser's caching and give it another go to see if that resolves the issue. Personally, the first step I take is to log out of the Facebook account on this user profile on Chrome. If you're using other web browsers like Safari for Mac users or Firefox, you'd want to log out of the account on your browser. And I'd advise to download Chrome for the next few steps we're about to take. That's if you don't have one installed on your PC already. Now let's create a new profile by clicking on this icon, add new, and then continue without account. Title this and click on done. So with this new profile, I can go ahead to change its IP address. Now it's important you're logged out of your account in the previous browser to avoid raising conflicts of any sort. And after you've bypassed this error, you can choose to use this profile solely for running the ad campaign, or you could head back to using your previous browser. The next thing to notice when changing your IP address, never change it to a country different from the last user's login. So if the last user's login was from the United States, when changing the IP address of this browser profile, make sure it's the United States and the same applies to other countries. So with this at the back of our mind, let's move on to change its IP address. So to change the IP address of this user profile, we'll have to install a Chrome extension called TunnelBear. And to do that, let's head on to the Chrome Web Store. And this will be the extension you want to install. So I'm just going to click on that and select Add to Chrome. And once that extension has been added to your browser, you just need to come over to this puzzle sign, select that, and let's click on this icon to pin the extension to the extension bar. So I'm just gonna select that. Next, we'll have to click on this icon, which should open up a new tab to get us started. Now, if you don't have an account with this tool, the sign-up process is quite seamless, so I'm just gonna leave that to you. Since I already have an account, I'm just gonna click on this and impute my details. And with this, we've successfully changed our IP address using this VPN. Now, like I said, you'd have to change the IP address to the same location as the last user's login. And for us to do that, I'm just going to click on this icon again. And we can see it's connected to the United States. For this video, I'll be using Nigeria, which is the last user's login for the account I'm about to log into. So I'm just going to scroll down and search for Nigeria. Now, if I select this, it's going to reveal my current IP address for this user profile. And that's pretty much all we need to do, changing our IP address using this Chrome extension. So with this done, let's move on to log back into our Facebook account. So I'm just going to close this up, open up a new tab. Okay, once we're logged in, open up the URL business.facebook.com forward slash create. Create an account. Enter your details and submit. So with this, nine out of 10 times, the new business manager is created and now I can go ahead to confirm my email address. Now there are a number of things that could prevent this method from working and I will do all to list them in the description or have it set as a pinned comment. Also, let me know if this worked for you in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.